if I had to evaluate this logarithm, um, what I'm going to have to do is try to remember um, my properties of logarithms. And one thing my properties of logarithms tell me is whenever I have an exponent, I can always put that exponent in front, right? So by putting that exponent in front, that's going to help me evaluate my logarithm. The reason being is, this is what it looks like, 1.2 times logarithm base 4 of 16. Now, I'm not going to get into your calculators because I know this calculator is now that like calculates with your log of 4 or log base of 4, but we don't really, I don't even care about your calculator. Think about what a logarithm is. A logarithm says 4 raised to what number gives me 16. Well, we can evaluate that number without a calculator. We know that answer is going to be 2. So therefore, I have 1.2 times 2. Well, that's going to equal 4. So I can say log base 4 of 16 raised to the 1.2 power does not equal 4. It equals 2.4. So that's how you evaluate a logarithm without using a calculator.